Twitter is a public messaging service that allows anyone to broadcast a short, real-time text or picture update on what they're doing, thinking, or feeling. Messages can only contain up to 140 letters, numbers, symbols, or spaces. So they're pretty straight to the point. It's easy to use, and you can get late-breaking news, and follow your favorite celebrities and athletes. My name is Allison from TechBoomers.com, and I'll show you how to create a Twitter account. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to sign up for a Twitter account, how to add followers, and how to confirm your account. Open your internet browser, click in the address bar, and type twitter.com, and press enter. On the Twitter homepage, find the new to Twitter sign up section. Enter your full name and email address. Create a password for Twitter. To make sure you remember your password, you may want to write it down on a piece of paper and keep it safely hidden away where only you can find it. Now go ahead and click Sign Up for Twitter. The next page shows a summary of the information you've just entered. Everything seems good, but my password is too short. Remember, your password must be at least six characters or more. I'm going to go ahead and add a few more characters. Make sure you add numbers and symbols to make your password stronger. Now you can choose your username. It can be related to your name or your personality. Looks like the username I want is taken, so I've changed it to something else. Twitter will also provide some suggestions below of unique usernames. Click one to select it. Twitter can show you who to follow based on websites you visit that are connected to Twitter. By keeping Taylor Twitter based on my recent web visits checked, you'll be recommended people that visit the same websites you do and likely have similar interests. Click on the sign up button to continue. Twitter isn't fun without followers. This next step allows you to select people whose updates you'll find informative or entertaining. To continue, click Let's Go. Click the box next to subjects that interest you. Twitter will suggest individuals, companies, or news accounts to follow based on whatever you click here. Click continue when you're done. Based on the interests you've chosen, Twitter will find people that fit those categories. As you can see here, there are news sites and musicians I would like to hear from. Click X to remove a suggestion that Twitter has made. By clicking follow and continue, you will follow all of these accounts. Remember, you can always unfollow any of these accounts later. Now you have the option to customize your profile. You can add a photo later by clicking the words, skip this step for now. Select take a photo to take a photo from your computer's built-in camera or webcam if you have one. Choose upload photo to select a photo of yourself that is already on your computer. When you found the picture you want, click to select it and then click open. In this window, you can change the position and size of your photo. Clicking the slider zooms the photo in or out so more or less can be seen in your profile picture. Once you change the size, you can change its position by clicking and dragging the photo. Whatever is in the brighter, smaller box in the middle will show up as your profile picture. Click apply when you're done. Click continue if you're happy with your photo. You also have the option to continue without saving. To find people you know on Twitter, you can choose to upload your Gmail contacts or contacts from another email service. I'm going to choose to skip this step for now. This brings you to your Twitter timeline. You're almost done setting up your account. The last step is confirming your email address. Click the address bar in your web browser and type in the web address for your email service. Then click enter. I'm using gmail.com. You may be asked to sign into your email account if you aren't signed in already. In your inbox, find the email from Twitter. Click to open the email. When you press the Confirm Now button, you'll be redirected back to your Twitter timeline. And that's how you set up a Twitter account. That wasn't too hard, was it? Now you can go ahead and make an account of your own. Want to learn more? Click the blue button to check out more Twitter tutorials. Click the green button to find other website courses. And as always, click the orange button to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest video tutorials.